right, today we're going to show you how to do a CSR port. First, we're going to start with the stock. Here's everything you'll need. All right, so for starters, we're going to add some sugar to the sauce pan. This is a very simple recipe. All three ingredients are in equal portions. Today, I'll be making out one cup of each. One cup of white vinegar. Doing the ingredients in this fashion just makes for less cleanup and it's easy to do. And finally, one cup of ketchup. If you do not have the full amount of ketchup, you can mix it partially with barbecue sauce or just substitute it for barbecue sauce entirely. And of course, if you want, you can change the recipe slightly depending on your own taste, more or less ketchup. Or any of the other ingredients for that matter. What we want to do is just simmer this on a low to medium heat. Now it will boil over really fast, so you must always keep an eye on it. And it's best to use a non-stick pan or pot. And also to clean the pan or pot right away because it can stain them. We'll keep an eye on this and we'll get the pork ready. We're moving right along now. This bowl is just full of flour. I have uh, whole grain, but you can just use plain white or you can use corn starch if you need. Get started, there's a bone right here that we want to remove and then some fat that we're going to remove. I have a standard uh, utility knife here. I'm just going to trace along the fat, very carefully slice into it, and just trace along the pork chop. If wanted, you can use the leftover pieces that we cut off to make a broth. find out the shape by looking at the back and the front of the meat just so we have an idea of where it is. And as you can see right here, there is fat tracing along the bone. We want to follow that with the knife, being very careful not to cut our fingers on the other side. saving this to make a broth later. I'll be in this later episode. Now cut the pork or any other meat that you're using for this and pieces the size that you would like to eat personally. Let's look forward to tossing the flour or cornstarch. I 
find it easy to cut it into long strips first and then into the cubes. If you wanted to switch them to a French knife now, it would be okay too. But I prefer to use one knife per job if possible. check on the sauce before we move along. So here I've tossed the uh, pork or whatever meat you preferred into the flour or corn starch as I said earlier. Now we're going to deep fry it. I have the deep fryer set to 350. I always have it below 375 just because that trans turns it into trans fats which are very bad for us. So we're going to slowly add the pork. just to not overfill the basket. And cook time will vary depending on the size of the pork and how much is in the basket, how much oil you have. So a good rule of thumb is if it's golden brown and floating, it's probably cooked through. But you might want to test the piece by cutting it open just to make sure. Using a deep fry, you want to be very careful because it can splash back. And if it does, you want to rinse your hand off quickly with cool running water. You do not want to put ice on it because it can cause more damage. And we'll check on this a little bit later. Okay, so this is actually been boiling for about 25 minutes now. And it's thick enough for my liking. You can do this ahead of time, you can do it an, an hour, a day, whatever you feel like. Pork is also ready now. So I'm just going to scoop them out into the bowl. If you wanted to, you can mix it in directly into the sauce. But this way I'm doing it per serving. note, I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Martin Yen for teaching me the recipe on his show about the sweet and sour sauce. Yeah, you have sweet and sour pork.